the knights can do for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
dodge this. Come a little closer. <laughs> What's the hurry? Cool it! for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. You did a fine job. Outstanding performance considering it was your first time. The requester even asked me to thank you on their behalf. And, as promised, you are due your reward. Oh, you shouldn't have. Except you totally should. 
This is a token of the guild's gratitude. We received many new commissions every day, and without the efforts of each and every adventurer, there is no way we could respond to them all. If you complete enough commissions each day, you will be eligible to claim a special reward from me. Your adventurer handbook keeps a record of how many adventures you complete each day. Make sure you claim your daily rewards on the days that you complete sufficient adventures. There is a limited quantity of rewards, so it will become forfeit should you not claim it. You are more than welcome. After all, you are the one helping me. And please note that helping a fellow adventurer to complete a commission also counts towards your eligibility for a daily reward. We encourage you to work actively with your fellow adventurers. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Sorry to bother you again. I am delighted to hear that. In which case, let me try to make this quick. We are most grateful for your commission completion to date. The guild's reputation has grown stronger as a result. However, another consequence is that we are receiving an unprecedented number of requests, more than our current numbers can handle. You want us to do some recruitment for you? Uh, no. Although I appreciate the offer. It would be fantastic to have some new members, but scrambling to officially recruit new members at this stage would not really solve our immediate problems. So what I want to ask is, would your friends have the time to help out? Great. Please do. Thank you. Right now, we urgently need to find people for our expeditions. We organize expeditions to explore areas around the city and in the wilderness. It is a way to keep ourselves informed of any emerging dangers unusual activity in the domains, and so on. Since expeditions are not commissioned by a third party, there are no strict deadlines for completion. However, we neglect them at our peril. If trouble were to foment unchecked, it could easily turn into a major disaster. Pretty important, then. All you need to do is convince them to help. I will take care of all the details. Now, without further ado, let me show you the expeditions that are currently available. You can dispatch someone on an expedition at any time, but of course, whoever you dispatch will be unable to join your party for the duration of the expedition. The duration of an expedition varies depending on the destination. After your friend returns, just come here and confirm the outcome. As your adventure rank increases, more dangerous expeditions will become available to you. After all, with epic power comes epic responsibility! And of course, matching risk with experience is also for everyone's safety. Thanks again for your help. I hope you and your friends can help out with our expeditions as much as possible. Ah! <laughs> 
You're in for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. a little closer. Blitz.
closer. <laughs>
urine for a little shock. You've been a naughty boy. for a little shot. You've been a naughty boy. <laughs> You're in for a little shot. <laughs> Enjoy this too much. Too early to relax. 
We're still not done with Storm Terror. Besides, the Fatui could also be planning something. Hey, Diluc. I heard that the Fatui have recently proclaimed you persona non grata. <laughs> what an honor. Nobody was ever proclaimed persona grata by the Fatui anyway. The Fatui? The diplomatic delegation from Sneznaya? What have they got against Master Diluc? The Fatui are a problem not only for the Knights, they also present a real threat to the whole of Mondstadt. And when it comes to threats against Mondstadt, Diluc is... <sighs> That's enough, Jean. You Knights are subject to too many restrictions. You can't directly confront this so-called diplomatic scum. Personally, I despise them. If I were to choose between eating a cryo slime alive or joining the Fatui, I'd prefer to be crushed to death by a meteorite. Jeez, your wording is so very dramatic. crystals together. Oh. The color of these crystals looks muddy. <sighs> Damalin, you're going through so much pain. Let's start purifying these crystals first. Please, Traveler. It is hard to believe such a thing is possible until you've seen it with your own eyes. Interesting. It's like filtering wine. The process is refreshing. I think we should have enough tears now. So next we... Use the crystals on the Holy Liar like last time. It worked! It seems completely different from before. The Liar's animal power seems fully restored. We should be able to use it now. It's all thanks to you. Now, where should we summon Storm Terror? It must be away from the city, else there will be casualties should we fail. Perhaps here at the winery? If the winery was destroyed, it's not something I couldn't eventually fix. But I'd still rather not go through the hassle. <sighs> the wind that blows at sea or in high places should be able to carry a bard's words far away. It's never going to work if the air is too dry or suffocating. Hyman understands sea or high places, right? Then the best location to play the liar would be... If you go east from Starfell Lake, there are mountains south of the beach. Oh, you mean that beach we were on when you told Paimon about your sister? If you head to where the cliff juts out, that place is known as Star Snatch Cliff. What do you think, Bard? Meets the requirements, no? Let me think. Star Snatch Cliff. All right, let's do it there. Very well. Then let's meet at Star Snatch Cliff when we're ready. Please don't be late. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to...
Astra Abyssosk. Recommendation is Haven't you heard? Thank 
you. Astra... Add Astra Abyss. 